Ignition sequence start. Six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. I'll tell you what I was doing today. I was buying some new tools. Buying these Milwaukee M18 fuel drill and impact driver. I got a uh, I got a uh, sawzall and a die grinder. Uh, all in the M18 system. Um, comes with two hour batteries. I bought some three hour batteries. Got them out to the truck and realized that the, the die grinder and the sawzall don't come with batteries. So the two extra batteries I bought uh, may end up residing with them. Um, the whole idea is I'll have everything I need on the truck in the new M18 system. Um, it's uh, kind of disappointing that the two items didn't come with batteries. The store I was at had run out of the extra uh, twin packs. So I guess I get to go online and order those. But I am getting excited that uh, I'm going to be able to switch out to the Milwaukee. I've been using DeWalt for years, and uh, I've been really satisfied with them. Uh, I use the heck out of them. I, I uh, have burned up a couple of uh, tools in the past, and the DeWalt has lasted longer than anything. I've had uh, uh, issues with the chucks. Chucks, the coordinates, the uh, keyless chucks have a tendency to uh, get to the point where they're worn out. They will not stay tight on a drill or a whatever I chuck up in them. Uh, and you reverse them sometimes without even touching the chuck, and they'll start loosening while you're using it. Or as you've seen in some of my videos, or will see in some of my videos, I've had issues where the, uh, I'll be drilling something, working on something, and whatever's in my drill will fall out of the chuck. It does not make for a happy day. So I'm hoping these also will have a, a better chuck on them than the, than the DeWalt. I guess it's one of those things I, I really shouldn't hold my breath on things wear out as much as I use these tools it's a wonder they've lasted as long as they have um, we've gone through three of the uh, DeWalt cordless drills in the shop um, they just we just wore them out um, I keep the extras around they still work but uh, they have the issues with the chucks um, Batteries are my other issue. We just wear them out. I actually had a battery blow up on me. Uh, I actually blew up on my son-in-law while he was working for me. Dang thing actually caught fire. Uh, we have no idea why. Uh, luckily, he was able to pull it out of the drill and uh, keep from damaging the drill. But, man, that thing was shooting fire out in the middle of nowhere. Those things are actually a lithium battery, so that's that's just one of those things. Never seen it before. Only that one time have I ever seen it, and uh, we've had good luck ever since. Actually kind of excited. i ready to unbox these things and get to using them. Um, might uh, do a little unboxing here a little bit later on and uh, actually add it to this vlog let you all see what's in the box oh boy I'm excited this is what I just picked up today I'm gonna convert from DeWalt to Milwaukee this is the unboxing
everything's in a bag. Owner's manual. Two batteries, those are going to charge right away. These are the uh, two hour version. Battery charger. Piece of cardboard. Another piece of cardboard. The drill, half inch chuck. Drill setting, torque setting, 18 through 1. Two, uh, two speed setting, high and low. Brushless. Forward, backward, lock. Comes with a belt clip. The impact driver also comes with a belt clip, forward, backward. Uses the uh, DeWalt style chuck. Chuck. Hard to say. DeWalt style chuck. Has a light on it. Let's see if there's any power in these batteries. Oh yeah, we do have power. How about that? Got to be in. Wonder if these automatically turn off. I just notice the belt clip is reversible. It goes on the other side. So if you're left or right-handed, and you see the battery, the light went out. How about that? There's power on those batteries. I love these bags. I rarely ever use them uh, except to carry other stuff. Uh, my drills and impact drivers sit in the truck and I take whichever one I need with me when I go into a job site. So let's go ahead and see how this one operates too. There we go. Cool. All right. We've got the saws off. Use these quite a bit on job sites. This one looks to me like it's been opened before. That's frustrating. It's the last one they had in stock. Probably upset because it didn't have a battery. Doesn't come with any blades. Unlock by pulling that sideways. That gets to your opens it up to put your blade in. Uses the same 18 volt system as the drill. Has forward and back. Oh, has lock and unlock. That's what that is. Yeah, baby. All right. No owner's manual. That's frustrating. That's frustrating. Most of these things you can go online and find the owner's manuals, so that will be one of the first things I do because I save all my owner's manuals. Uh, they go into a binder that I keep in my workshop, so if I have an issue I can go right to the manual. So this is the die grinder or four and a half inch grinder, side cutting. Some people call them by different names. More cardboard. Owner's manual. How about that? There's the main unit.
more stuff. There's the wrench. That looks like the same wrench that I have on a couple of different uh, brands of, of grinders. So that has to be put on there. It um, spring loaded, locks in place. You can move it around to different locations on the uh, grinder depending on your job situation handle should just screw in works on both right or left hand uses a four and a half inch cutting wheel or grinding wheel that is standard pretty much. That looks just like what's on my uh, DeWalt. Could even be exactly the same. This is a little different. It's actually got the cutout for the square drive or the round drive. A little button on the back for locking it while you're trying to put the part on or put the wheel on. Works on the same system as everything else. Has a safety on it. You have to pull the safety in before you can start it. Nice. Again, works on the same batteries as everything else. So, I bought me two extra batteries. These are the three hour. I wanted to buy four extra batteries, but they were out. So uh, let's uh, get this out of here. These definitely have to go on the charger. <laughs> they do not want to open. I might have to get the saws all out to open them. Yeah, baby, fighting me all the way. succeed get out the butter knife we got that sealed up pretty good they didn't want me to open it they didn't want me to open it easily there we go show it who's boss the two hour and there's the three hour you can see that there's a lot of difference in the size these have a, a charge indicator on them they're both look to be on the low side again I wanted to order more of those but they didn't have them bought some Diablo sawzall blades uh, it's a packet it has a bunch in it, 20 pieces, including a little carrying case. Yeah, super excited to get started. Just broke a fingernail. I guess I'll have to have to file a workers' comp claim. Broken fingernail. Okay, folks. There you have it.